Hey friends, welcome to the Stationery Cafe, your podcast for everything stationery, journaling, and planning related. This is April from Penguins Creative, and we have Kelly from Kelly Love Letters here today, and we're going to talk about the analog life and fun things in the community. So join us with a drink, um, and let's chat about stationery. How's it going, Kelly? It's good. What's that cute little bottle you have there? It's a really cute Kinto bottle that holds water, but it has an illustration by Who's Ming, who's that very oh, cool Taiwanese yeah. illustrator that does like drawings on coffee cups. And did so when I was in, about that? I know, I showed it. I felt like I talked about it before. But... Maybe you did. It's really cute. It he's... says Into the Wild. Yeah, and he's just sitting yeah. on like a, a tree stump <laughs> thinking yeah. and drinking coffee. Like, it kind of <laughs> actually reminds me of you when you said, when you had described like your camping experiences where you would just like sit from the camping cup. Oh, oh yeah yeah <laughs> what are you yep, drinking that, that's me so i'm switching it up with coconut Lacroix. i don't oh, know i don't know what got into me no it's actually really good like yeah in my opinion out of all the Lacroix, it's like the most flavorful i'm using air quotes there for, for <laughs> like, the listeners like but. artificial flavorful <laughs> No, no, it's, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. (laughs) But, because my brother always is like, Kelly, it's just like, like you, like you sneezed and then lemon flavor happened. Like, that's what it tastes like. I'm like, no, I think the coconut is a lot. It's, it would be good with, you know, to use as a mixer for something. That's true. I did save like a fun drink to drink next time, but today I was just in too much of a rush, so I didn't. Yeah, bring yeah. It up April here. and I were both very busy ladies today. Very I, rushed. I actually, I actually worked a ten-hour day because we had a retail meeting before work. Oh <laughs> and, no! <laughs> and then you know I kind of died afterwards, and I was like, April, Mike, and I are getting food. It's like gonna, you know, take a while, and it's fine. I know we're, my my we, food. We came said we're the gonna try to keep it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try to keep it under an hour, but we'll see. I know you guys like it long anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll try. We'll try our best. But let's start yeah. with catching up. Yeah. So what have you been up to while we were gone for two weeks? Yeah, so I, you know, went to uh, Jacksonville, Oregon, like I mentioned before. It, Like, I think for some reason I thought it would just, like, reset me or something, but I was really just like, when I got there, I was like, I miss my friends and I miss Mike and I want to go back home. <laughs> no, but it, it was good because then, you know, the next day I woke up like, OK, this is nice. And, you know, just having time to yourself to, like, drive a lot. And, mm-hmm. you know, I, I put my feet on a California beach and for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, and, I had a feeling like. Well, I feel like we all feel that way. Like we needed like a little break, like solitary yeah. trips sort of thing. And it's for your birthday too. So it's kind of like a, yeah. a little treat, right? Your birthday was on the 18th. Um, yep. And I feel like I'm looking forward to that myself for my for my future event, like one of my trips. But I don't know. Maybe I'll just end up kind of like stressing out anyway during the trip because I wanted <laughs> to like enjoy the like or autumn autom- optimize the time I right spent. like making the most of it and exactly. i'm like i don't know what i'm doing i'm just <laughs> driving around and like i went into this random uh um like because i went to crescent city which my one of my coworkers who is from like i don't know california she's like oh you went to crescent city i'm like hey i don't know like whatever <laughs> a beach is a beach and she's like no and <laughs> so in crescent city there's this like random uh what do they call that like an ant it was like an antique store and a thrift store kind of met Mm -hmm. and there were tons of used books and then there was also a room full of furniture that had like creepy dolls strewn about oh my god see that's the that's the one thing i hate about antique stores i always feel like that's where i'm gonna bring home something that's gonna curse me like that's exactly that's yes. that's why I don't have you really ever seen like Annabelle? I really like, hate thrifting I why, why would I watch that like seriously <laughs> I'm like the last person to go near anything scary so no, that will make you not want to have a doll I'm secondhand saying. stuff like I just I just feel like whenever I go to these cute little towns and like 
yeah. Pacific, Pacific Northwest, there's always like an antique store, and I'm like, I want to go see if there's cool ephemera, but I also don't want to get cursed. Like, <laughs> okay, I kind of want to bring you with me next time, specifically, no. <laughs> so you can be like, that's cursed, and I'll be like, ooh, I want to buy it. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't want that. <laughs> Just sitting on your shelf like slowly giving you evil energy like no right no, no. <laughs> that's cool that you can feel that though i feel like i don't know if i no, have i don't a... know i just don't want that to ever happen to me <laughs> even though i'm yeah. very uh what is that i'm an atheist like i don't believe in this kind of uh, thing well, but like well even you know just because you're an atheist doesn't mean uh you know Cre- creepy vibes no thanks creepy vibes <laughs> or ghosts that attach to things <laughs> exactly my sister so apparently she was in the uk and she came back to taiwan and then got into like a series of like kind of like she was like very sick or like just had all these misfortune and then like this fortune mm-hmm. teller told her that her rings brought back three little ghosts from one of the castles in like when oh she was my god in Europe. stop so Seriously? that's why my my sister was in so much misfortune like i don't know i Dang. i didn't want to believe it but it freaked me out <laughs> like just curing that possibility so did she get rid of those rings <laughs> no, of course like they had to do like a cleansing <laughs> thing for her but Dude, i'm like wow yeah. Creepy much. Man, I've never bought anything cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess is a good thing. Pretty much. Um, yeah. But no, okay, so wait, I did want to, what did I write in here? I know, you I, have a bunch of fun things, but you didn't talk about them uh, yet. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> oops. So, well, one of the things I didn't even mention, but I'll talk about anyway, was um, I stopped at this uh, very randomly located um, crystal shop, and... I found a few little, um, like this, for example, is a little, what do they call that when it's, oh, it's a bead because it actually has a a hole going through it. Right. So, and it's these cool, like crystals that are also beads. And I was like, man, this one specifically, I was like, this would be so cool to put on one of my traveler's notebooks. Yeah. And I thought the hole looked big enough for the elastic, but it's not. No. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I guess I'll just put it next to my travelers and it'll, I'll just think about what could have been. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe like... I just need to, I don't know. What I don't do know. Maybe that puts, could fit in there. Maybe put some wire through it and make it into like a little mini bracelet and then hang it on the, on the traveler's notebook. I don't know. I yeah, feel like there's a way okay. to do stuff with it. No, you're right. You're mm-hmm. right. You're yeah. smart. <laughs> You're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cursed um, or not. <laughs> oops. And uh, so then the other thing, I uh, I went to this really cute cafe on my day when I was leaving in Grants Pass, Oregon, mm-hmm. which is like 45 minutes from where I stayed. Mm. And I'm like, dang, my cousin lives so far away because it was her Airbnb that I stayed at. I was like, mm-hmm. dang. Um But yeah, so I actually didn't want to leave this cafe when I sat down in there because it was so, I sent a picture to April, it was like so perfect for journaling and had all these open windows and had cute coffee names and like, there was like the the salty dog was what I ordered. It's just a salted caramel latte, but I'm like, that's cute. (laughs) Um, I was looking up the Yelp menu of that diner restaurant coffee oh. shop place and the, the pies and the cakes look so good yes yes <laughs> i had a banana cream pie from that place powder horn cafe if you're ever in grants pass um, <laughs> nice. it was super good there was actually a an older gentleman that that walked in and uh, when i was there waiting for my food and he's like i'm here for my pie <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he had just ordered a pie and then left <laughs> i'm like i respect this man and I love that you brought your Traverse Notebook diner, too. Of course, I had to. I knew. On I this knew. trip. The perfect, the perfect <laughs> diner. The perfect Traverse Notebook to bring. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, my turn. Um, I yeah. <laughs> had a productive s- Sunday weekend, I guess, in, in together. Um, I did a workshop, like I said, like, in the last episode at Kirkland Library, which is a local... Oh, yeah. King County Library System, one of the branches, and I did a creative journaling workshop, um, well, seminar. I didn't really do any hands-on stuff, but it was really just sharing my journaling experience, my journaling journey, creative journaling 
story like since your, like your process and stuff 2016 or 2014 really and I didn't know if I shared but like I think when I talked about it last I haven't even started preparing for the seminar yet and then like when I finally sat down to do it it ended up being like a hundred pages of a PowerPoint like just photos and photos and photos well, and I think people want to see that I think I spent like two hours like going through my Hobonichi from the very beginning to like the most recent oh, one wow. and taking photos and it's like going through this time machine I was like yeah wow like I felt this way then why did I even say that then like what the, the heck did I do here and there were moments where like I look back and you think you remember what you were talking about and I actually have absolutely no idea like what <laughs> happened here See, <laughs> like, and this is why that one time in one of our episodes when when I was like oh it'll be so cool when you're like an old person and you're looking at all your journals and you're like no I'm gonna burn them and I'm like <laughs> no don't burn them they're like it's like it's like representing your whole life you yeah know? it is i was like <laughs> saying that the hobonichi is like the museum of my life it um, is <laughs> only special like special displays of only things that matters to me and not to anyone else <laughs> like <laughs> it's those weird museums you visit at the small town like mm. the museum of like something something <laughs> You just made me spit my drink on my sock. <laughs> Love it. So I did that. And then also um, kind of we finally installed AC because summer is yes. coming. <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. That that would be really brutal to not have it at your place. Well, we've had it. We have not had an AC in our studio for the past two to three years. So. Um, and that must have been terrible. It had, it had been terrible. <laughs> um, so this year, we're finally getting AC. And in that process, I had to do a lot of like reorganizing of the stuff in my mm. studio. So I did a huge de-stash, a huge organization, and realized I have way too many notebooks um, than I'll ever use in my life. But that doesn't matter. And then <laughs> but I had a I was going to say, what about, what about the pens, though? The pens, like I, I de-stashed <laughs> none of my pens. Like my pens are staying where they are. I, I think. But you I, say you have so, too many notebooks. I'm like, I don't know, April. What about your pen collection? Oh, I see. Just in general. <laughs> <laughs> All equally plentiful. Um, I de-stashed a lot of inks, ink pads that I'm not using. Oh, like that's good. Like that. Yeah, I should probably do that too. I feel like that's one thing I have in abundance of, and like I don't actively reach for. So. Glad I did that. Um, and then I just, like, over this past few weeks, I was just preparing for a lot of stuff coming up this summer. Um, you're coming up to Edmund's Sketcher Fest with me, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah I, I sure hope so. I asked for the time off, so hopefully. You better. That I'm expecting you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I. That's what I'll say. My friend needs me. And I won't I, say why, though. <laughs> I was actually invited to... Um, submit some of my urban sketches for their gallery uh, for the entirety of June or July at the location that they're hosting Sketcher Fest. So I was mm -hmm. like, wow, I'm, I'm an artist now. <laughs> Officially <laughs> with no, art you before. on display. So, um, so that was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with me. Busy, busy. Um, Sin's coming back yeah. from Chicago, and I will be busy, busy again going to LA, <laughs> which I'll talk about towards the very end. But let's yeah. dive into recent acquisitions. Oh, yeah. um, okay, so, so starting with you. Before I forget, because I didn't write it down, and I think, yeah, I didn't talk about it on the podcast because it hadn't happened yet, but yeah, it was my birthday. I turned 32. And my besties and Mike and my mom came over and gave me things and Aww. cake. <laughs> and uh, one of the things, so my friend Morgan, I'll shout Morgan out and I'll have to tell her that I shout her out and she'll be like, no, I have to listen to this episode. Um, so she, like quite a while ago, she was asking for my, I, I have this picture of Maya, my kitty, or I oh. guess mom's kitty, because I don't hardly see her anymore. Um <laughs> But I have this photo of her on my phone background that's, like, super cute. She's, like, looking up at the camera with her little tiny paws, like, hey. And, <laughs> and Morgan's like, hey, uh, what's that one photo of Maya? And, like, I thought she was just asking because she wanted to see how cute she was. <laughs> but she made, she 
sent in this photo of my oh kitty. Oh my gosh. And made a little stab of her face. And it it's says, still, it's still kind of like pre ink stamp, right? Like yeah, you yeah, can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the inside. Oh, you can't. You cannot see it all on Zoom. Um, oh, I know. But... It's it's that kind where you ink it up and then you can like use it as is without yeah. needing to put it into any more ink pads. That is so adorable. Now you have a permanent imprint of Maya in your of journal. Maya's face. It's yeah. great. So I can put it everywhere. <laughs> I need to do when I miss of... her. I can be like, there she is. <laughs> I need to do one of. I'm cookie. not weird at all. I want to make like a hundred of cookies and put it all you should place. how come you haven't you should <laughs> I've, go to I've, this website it was I've done stickers. it came in this little box and okay. it's from happy and polly is the name of the yeah i don't know thanks morgan <laughs> <laughs> um and other than that so this acquisition has not yet come into my hands but it got delivered to my friend amanda which she got for my birthday which is gold spots exclusive cherry blossom talisman Bennu pen which is like the most me pen ever wait i thought so, you already had this or like you had I'd, something like this i sure don't i <laughs> i mean i i have this one this is oh, the, um... yes okay yeah i got confused you had the valentine's day pink yes super valentine's pink limited edition yeah so yeah. you can't get this one anymore um but yeah the um the cherry blossom Bennu, it's like so it's like that kind of pink, right? The mm -hmm. I don't think it's super gaudy pink though. It's a little lighter than than the shade they use there. A little lighter than Pepto Bismol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's got some like blue going on, this kind of light blue. So it's like cherry blossoms in the sky. It's got these little like flower sequins in the pen, and it's I feel like it's dumb, but I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> no, it's so pretty. <laughs> It actually yeah. reminds me of that unicorn frappuccino drink that Starbucks <gasps> came up with a oh, while shoot. ago. Don't you remember that? Oh my those? god. I d so I remember that because it was when I moved to Japan and I wasn't at Starbucks barista anymore and my mm -hmm. Starbucks friends were like texting me about like oh, oh my god this the unicorn frap is such a pain in the ass to make. <laughs> 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 I'm like, "Oh, I'm glad I don't have to anymore." <laughs> I love that. But they had like war stories about all the syrup and stuff. <laughs> so my yeah, question is, so be nice is, to your baristas. Yeah. Can you pick? I guess you you don't know what the coloring is going to be like, right? Like yeah, the, April. That's kind of... what normal people find fun about pens like these is that every single one is its own different little contraption and no i need to pick like the one i want exactly but i was just looking because like there's some with just like huge clusters of those like cherry blossom i'm, I'm so pieces. about that <laughs> i'm i would be fine with whatever one it was too much it's too much i for love me. it oh my it's goodness. so cute though so oh and the so i should mention this section is like a um the kind of a light blue color and then mm -hmm. the body itself is like a swirl of the pink and blue mm -hmm. um so like i think glitter. it's quite pretty yeah of um, course glitter it's Bennu. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even have to say that <laughs> i'm still waiting for Bennu to do i don't know if they did that exclusively with Goulet, the drink series. Mm -hmm. They or... did. It's so annoying because yeah. I want to buy it wholesale. <laughs> well, I want them to do a melon soda one. Like, if yeah. Benu, anyone listens to this, like, I know Drew's probably bothering you guys because I also pressured him, but this is like <laughs> the... Uh, the I just feel like Melon Soul that would be such a great series as part of the drink series. Like, who cares about vodka on the rocks? Yeah. More? Not us. Not us. Like, <laughs> bleh. sorry, 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 yeah. Goulet pen. Goulet. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, I, 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 I don't I, think they're offended. I do think that ice caramel <laughs> latte is really nice, but if you it's make so a, cute. a cream soda one, I would just die. I would buy two. I would buy two. I'll, I'll be. I'll buy two. I said it here. <laughs> <laughs> one, I'll send it to Esther. But two okay. for April. The contrary pen to your pen. Uh, also fun, kind of like swirly blanks, um, swirling material with individual differences on every single pen. Oh my god. But great. April had to know exactly what she was getting. Yes, I do. And that's <laughs> why I'm so thankful that Pen Realm 
Our very own Kirk Sphere allowed me to do this. Oh my god, the, the light is too bright. But I picked up one of the Navalor Horizon Twilight Pen. Um, yep. The new pen they said it was designed. There's like a series of four, and it's all influenced by the color changing horizon. at like the horizon, like of a, a beach or of like, I don't know, morning, something like that. I don't know so, why yeah. it's called Twilight, but this is like a swirly mess of green that cascades into like this beigey yellow with some mm -hmm. really dark brown parts. It's beautiful. And like And the the cool part about these and uh, it's funny because April posted about this today and then at Oblation we actually got cuz I ordered them for the store. Nice. And we got them the same day. Mm -hmm. Um so so there's four pens and they each have like different metal coloring. Yes. Which I thought was a fun touch. So this one has the black. Yes, it's very cool, like a black tip. And then black what I love metal. is the ring section. I it's know actually, it's like a little scalloped. It's kind of like cute. Yeah, yeah. It's like curved. So it's like really interesting. It's not like a flat kind of band. So you, yeah. it kind of gives you a little window into how much ink is in the clear section because this is a, a piston, right? It's called a piston yeah. filling. So I really like that. And um, I just love that. It's kind of like it reminds me of like a tropical kind of beach like yeah, it does it and, really does like yeah. why what's it about twilight <laughs> i i don't know why twilight but like it just reminds me of like when i'm in thailand i go to like the, oh. the islands and then like there's all these yeah. like little little corners when you're on the boat you go around and it's just like the island hills the, and the water's yeah. all green because of the how how like it's not very deep so the water mm -hmm. it feels green and then you go down to like closer to the beaches and then you get like the white sand so i just yeah i love it, it does so much. look super tropical <laughs> it's super tropical and the thing is like you really have to like pick because i'm very particular and there's variations of that pens mm -hmm. where it was too much white green or yellow uh -oh. beige parts which i didn't like i really like more of the green going down towards the bottom part of the barrel like especially like this one here um so the, okay the wait what nib did you get i think i got a five you think i, I didn't <laughs> care about the nibs. <laughs> it says on the side by the okay. way okay um fine. Nib. i got it okay yeah and the so, nib itself is also very dark which is kind of cool yeah. yeah it's like basically black yeah. uh, which is very neat and um, it's funny because I literally, I literally just like got rid of like the sh the Shuko one, the Navalar sh shooting. Oh, the sh yeah, I I don't know how to say that either. <laughs> and I immediately Navalor, bought them. I also don't want to call them Navalur because it's weird. Let's <laughs> just call it Narwhal. Um, what am I yeah. gonna ink it with? I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> I have lots of ink, so I'm not I'm not in a hurry to ink. Oh, actually, I might pair it with the Troublemaker. Sea glass or kelp tea? Oh. oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait. I just thought of another one when you um, when you said that name. Troublemaker. Um, did Do you have copper patina? Look at this. this oh, oh, I know. I know copper patina, but I don't have it. It's kind of like that vintage kind of like. It's so perfect, Statue of Liberty but you have a fine. Things. But I yeah. don't have a fine, so I don't want anything glittery. But I thought um, sea glass or kelp tea kind of matches the theme of this pen so I'm really, it does it really does I, I think i would like to try with those ink in there also really quick just to say just to hijack you one more second i totally bought this today and i just swatched it uh, uh you have to tell <laughs> people rose, what you bought <laughs> it's the rose city rose from oblation papers and press <laughs> You have no idea how many times I tampered the urge for you to save me a bottle when they were 20% off last month or this month before Mother's Day or something like that. They still are, actually. It still is? Mm-hmm. If you do in-store pickup, I can pick it up for you. Okay. Because Elliot's going to be down there this week. Oh, yeah, do so, it. So, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> then get, get me one. <laughs> cool. Because I, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. and I, it, I, I remember you. seeing in the stories where it says like one last day. And then I was like, oh, no, yeah. but Kelly's on her trip already. <laughs> so. You know, 
<laughs> I think we all didn't really know how the, <laughs> how it was going. Oh yeah, one more day. Oh, just kidding. There's another one. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's goodness. fine. Um, it's fine. But I think this, like, I don't, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I don't want to be held accountable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I wanted that ink too, but I was just spending too much with all my pens because I bought another Grail yeah. pen, uh, Kelly. Yeah, you did. Okay, show it to us. Right. Everyone oh. else in Instagram probably already saw it, and I definitely yeah, talked, but we didn't see it. I see talked it. about it enough, but wait, let's see the box. I Ooh. finally bought the. Oh my goodness, I'm like so excited just talking about it again. But my <laughs> Grail pen, the Pilot Vanishing Point, uh, in collaboration with Sugiya. Uh, and Ohara Museum of Art, which is this museum in Kurashiki. And they uh, have of course. the Claw Monet water lilies on display at the museum. So inspired by this amazing painting. And Claw Monet is my favorite artist. I may be saying his name incorrectly because I'm Asian and I don't know how to speak. No, Claude Monet. I don't oh, know you're how good. to say those names correctly. Maybe there's some <laughs> accents there, here or there, but I call. I mean, maybe, but. <laughs> Monet, okay. Yeah, love everybody his knows art. I, I yeah. go to all the museums to see his stuff. Like, my I was just. My grandma really loved his art too, and she loved painting. I, so my... It makes me think of my grandma. And I stared at the paintings for a long time when I was in Chicago at the Art Institute of Chicago. And so they made a vanishing point inspired by the water lilies, which is one of my favorite um, series of paintings by him. Um, and so here's this beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. Oh my god, the lighting is horrible. Okay, wait, bring, yeah, no, bring it, bring it closer to the. I don't know if that'll help. I'm gonna just turn down the light a little bit, but it's a. Mm. It's a really interesting. Uh, well, it's like first of all, gold accented like the vanishing oh. point itself is like the parts are all gold and then the the green is like this uh interesting blend of like blue wine minty green and like random spots kind of like the water lilies yeah. a very very beautiful pen it was so pretty to look at and like i remember learning about this pen's existence uh last year and by then, and you didn't tell me about it. It had it had sold out. Like it was, there was no way to get it. Like from the official store, and then oh. they apparently re-released it again sometimes last July, and I missed it again. And then last <laughs> November, when I was in Japan, uh, when I met up with CY and their Japanese stationery group, and someone brought the inks, and I was like, oh my god, I've been wanting the pen so much. Like they got the uh, the serious ink that came along with the collaboration i, I was um, reminded of it again what ink was that it was um i didn't ha i don't have is it a pilot i don't have the inks but i think they're sailor inks um mm. yeah i think um but, but anyway um they have those i saw it at japan and then this year in May, I went to Chicago and someone was selling this secondhand, but it was oh. at a price I couldn't go for. So I was just like, oh, I'm sad. Like, I really want that pen. I would That would be my grail pen. And then who knows, like within the next two weeks, our friend Polly like found two being sold on like Japanese auction sites like Macari oh, and Yahoo cool. Auction. And it was for a very, very reasonable price. It was like, like I told you, it was like $300 USD. Like, and then obviously yeah. you add on like the service fee and the shipping fee, but it still gets me around 360 total to come to my house in like four days or five Yeah, days. no, that's, that's a very good price. <laughs> it's a ridiculous price and it's almost like brand new. It says it's used, but it was purchased. Like there was like a warranty card that says it was purchased mm -hmm. in July last year. And oh, then cool. like, Barely new, and I inked it up with the Onoma Tope Fuku Fuku color, which is like a, oh, a, a red bean color. I was very cautious. I was like, red I didn't. Bean. Yeah, yeah, it's like a red rustic. In that pen? I know. I was <laughs> I was very cautious. I was like, I, I don't want to put anything iffy into this pen. Oh, okay. In case I break That's it fair. or jammed it, so I was like looking at all my safe inks. And I had, <laughs> I had plenty of green pens inked up right now, so I didn't want to do green. But I just thought I would put a very like, you know, very like tr Japanese ink uh, 
or a Japanese inspired ink in one of the in this pen. So No, that's definitely <sighs> Yep. I like that. It is amazing. <laughs> and I'm I'm good. I was like telling people that I'm done. I'm done buying pens for the year and then like this week this last week I bought the Navlar pen. So we'll see. <laughs> and then Narwhal see. was like, Hold my beer. No, Pen <laughs> Pen Realm Perkspear was saying, Hold my beer. If he hadn't shown that exact one, number fifteen, on his Instagram story, like I wouldn't even go for it. Like, cause I saw it and I was like, no, it's too risky. I didn't want to get one that I didn't like. So he happened to hold in his hand the perfect he, one that I like. So um, he knew you were out there, April. And I was just, I was just joking to another friend too. Like, I've always wanted like that beach, like you know, with these interesting blanks or the inter- interesting body. Mm-hmm type barrels that makers make right like i've always wanted one that looks like a a beach inspired like kind of like you know waves crashing into the sand kind of kind of pattern and canalea like like that hawaiian theme store has one pen like that but it's so expensive they're so so expensive dude so this one just like scratched that itch for me that was it like i i have that pen now i have the pen that i wanted with that theme can we talk about how good narwhal's prices are too it's really nice yeah this pen's like 168 or something yeah yeah so it's so good very very they're they're good pens friendly for people i still have my um this is the kirk also the the pen pen, pen, yeah Pen Realm collab with Narwhal, and I did get the gold nib on this because I was at a pen show when I got it. So Kirk um, got us both. Darn he did. You, darn you, Kirk. <laughs> it's it's does, fine. I don't regret does it. Does he even listen to our podcast? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Maybe maybe he, uh, you know, what do they say when you talk about someone? What happens to them? Oh, they sneeze in in manga. Yeah, <laughs> right now. Not in moment. Japan and manga. <laughs> nice um so that's my two acquisition i want to talk about two pens and they're both green nice. so i still hasn't broke any of my rules yet so yeah you're still good <laughs> um, oh boy all right new items uh oh, so we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about the kasu miso kasu miso sounds like a miso soup but turns out it it's does. it does uh, it's what uh baby's baby's breath, breath. yeah yes or it says mist flower, which I guess is same thing. Whatever. Oh, baby's breath. Blah blah blah. So Ginza and Cora, you know, they like to steal our hearts and our money. Um, <laughs> and they did so again. Thankfully, not from me though, because these. So they released two pens with inspired by the baby's breath, like flower. I guess it's a flower. Mm-hmm. Um. So it's one of those ones like the uh, kind of like April's cherry blossom one because it's it's got like the the maquillage style. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I don't want to say painting. Seemingly screen printed. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's they're actually really beautiful. There's one gold trim pen and one silver trim pen. Mm -hmm. And the silver trim pen is kind of a I would call that a, a true green Color? No, it's, it's a viridian color. Is viridian not true green? That's that's what I'm saying. Like I, a lot of people <laughs> are like, disagree. April, it's a green <laughs> pen, but I'm like, no, it's a. This is exactly the shade of green that I really do not like, and it's like this, and it's viridian green, exactly. Like it's kind of like this Sarasa clip. It's kind of like. Sort green of. teal-ish but with like a cooler tone yeah viridian but it it's yeah. like i'm trying to describe i think one of the sailor north america 50 states ink is like also around like this green and it's kind of like it, the pilo yoroshisuku green um the shinryoku yeah mm, it also literally says bdg on and viridian so yeah. on, you, the, in on the hashtags on the ink bottle it said viridian so that's, oh, what, okay. that's what i was saying okay and i was like oh. yeah this is not my green sorry friends uh i'm not enabled this this is like <laughs> you if, tried i needed yellow <laughs> in my green so like this is absolutely not my type of green um but i actually really like april's 
found too many green pens. I do have too many green pens. <laughs> I really like the goat go trim one, though. because I actually the, do, too. The finials. The cream. Are, I think for me, it's the finial. It has, like, little, yeah. those little, like, blue Clear tinted, blue. Yeah. Tips. <laughs> yeah. Which is really pretty. But, yeah, they, they, they keep doing this, right? And Cora, like, every season, every flower, every different seasonal they still haven't done a halloween one that just does it for me but maybe <laughs> they will i don't know um but it's really pretty and it's kind of like i feel like very feminine very elegant uh, and then it comes with a bottle of ink to the viridian green ink um yeah. but something interesting because what is that other one they just did the pansies that they also showcased the pansies i oh, i thought that was you really know cute. yeah they were cute too i'm I'm just glad that I'm not obsessed with flowers because if I was, well, with the exception of cherry blossom, which mm -hmm. as we already talked about, I'm mm -hmm. covered there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like, I don't know. These are really beautiful. And if I was a slightly different type of girl, I could see myself really loving this. But mm -hmm. I'm like, mm, I'm okay. I can pass. A little like vintage teacup. Grandmother oh, you know who would love it is Lexi. This is a Lexi pen. Ah. <laughs> For sure. I wonder if she's seen that one. Well, she needs to go to Japan again then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pick up some stuff. Um, Definitely. But yeah, I'm happy that we talked about it. I thought it was really cute. Um, but also yeah. just wants to make clear on the podcast, like, not all greens. April does not <laughs> like all greens. <laughs> oh, and I don't think we mentioned the um, the both the nibs and the finials have little baby's breath flower <sighs> details. The on engraving them. details. Yeah, that's cute. I love I love when they do custom nibs and finials. That's what I want from all my sailors. Okay, is that too much to ask? <laughs> yes. All right, another green item. <laughs> Oh Yo no. Yoseka stationery. <laughs> oh god. Uh, when that released, I just was like, oh my god. I was like, have I have I not like already lost enough money to them with the <laughs> pens? <laughs> and they came yeah, up with exactly. this. Exactly. All right. So uh again, clarification for those who are interested, which I feel like very little people want to know, but like my <laughs> spectrum of green. This is very cool. Like Yoseka green. Sorry, Daisy and Neil. Like, to be honest, Yoseka Green is kind of on the edge of the green that I do not like. <laughs> like, it, oh. it's right on the edge. Like, Yoseka Green. Like, I could see that. It's it's definitely a very deep green, like a foresty green. But, like, it's a little bit close to Viridian enough. But, like, it's still in the safe area. Yeah. So... Each time they release something like, and they call Yoseka green, I have to like, I need to see the colors in person. Like the origin ink was pretty, but it was very close to not like not yeah. the green I like. Um, but when they did the one they, with the ceramic ink, that was really nice. But anyway, um, I think if it has generally, if it has a little bit too much blue in it, April's like, mm. I will be hesitant. But <laughs> so, OK, I feel like we haven't even talked about like what no. this is this <laughs> is a collaboration with the superior labor that they've been hinting about and they came out with a superior labor leather roll pen case with a yoseka green color like the usually the superior labor tsl roll pen cases are, are um dark brown or brown or beige or like natural natural i think instead of beige so the yeah. re regular leather colors and this one's probably dyed like very very like green and i can't and i cannot make the verdict their yet. logo it does it was like i guess debossed with the yoseka logo so it's part of their like store item yeah but i i need so to good. see this in person like i i know i want it because i don't have a superior labor full leather pen roll i have one that's like half but you just said it's on the edge of the green that's why I need to see it in person because I've seen photos of it looking a little bit olive, which would have been chef's kiss. <laughs> like, yeah, of course. I love olive green. So, <laughs> um, do you? <laughs> there's some like, like I've seen so many versions of this now. Like people had taken photos of it under different light, and then Yoseka obviously did some Instagram stories on it, and then videos, mm -hmm. and like each of them look different. So I just needed to see. 
<laughs> what exactly yeah. it is like and obviously i want to support them as well and superior labor so i oh, i i can't wait i i also need to save up first so when they first released this i was the first one to leave a comment and said <laughs> can, can this wait till june like or later until my wallet recovers from my grail pen purchase <laughs> like i, I needed some time before i can buy this so Hopefully they yeah. will still have it in stock. And this pen roll basically, um, you know, fits a larger. Uh, there's a larger pocket that you can put little notebooks, pocket notebooks in, and then three individual kind of pen slots that seem to fit two pens each. Um, and I kind of was like thinking I could use this as like a, a sketchbook pouch, roll roll mm. pouch, because I could put the art toolkit palettes in the big pocket, and then like the other brush pens, and the other water brush, and pigment ink, my fountain pen with the the waterproof inks in the pockets, and it will work out well, and I'm I'm excited, because apparently so many people have bought it, around like around me has already acquired this, and so mm. I hopefully have a chance to see it in person by the end of this week. Nice. Let's hope. <laughs> let's hope it passed the green test. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Or maybe not, just for the sake of your wallet. Well, maybe Oblation needs to make an actual olive one, then I can just fall for that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be detrimental. One day. <laughs> um, another new thing we're looking forward to is the actual, I think, was it the Sailor um, 12th? No, a hundred and twelfth anniversary oh, yeah. coming up. Yeah, and they like normally you would think that would not matter in any way, but they on the isn't it on the Sailor nineteen eleven yes. Instagram that they yes. they're like counting down to it. I'm like, what are you guys gonna do? Come on, like, what are you and doing here? I don't know. I feel like the graphics kind of like <laughs> high school PowerPoint y, like yeah. the way oh they, for sure the way they were. Does taking- that surprise us though? Taking the photos, like I feel like. <laughs> Sailor could do better than that. I don't know. But the countdown, you know, like they were putting yeah. two ink bottles together and like top down looks like an eight and then like a few Sailor pen boxes that, you know, kind of like, what do you call this? Tetris into like a five mm-hmm. and then you got like the converters into a three. So uh, by the time this episode comes out, we'll be counting down to day two left, I think. Um, nice. So. Oh, and then four was just a bunch of nibs. I only just see it now. Like, I was, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I can't. Oh, and they even like label which type of nib it is. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, um, a little cheesy, but fun. I actually don't even know what Sailor did for their like a hundredth anniversary or anything like that. Like, they had we... those really fancy pens, I believe. So they always just went the... for like the expensive stuff, then maybe. Yeah, like the really large. Mm-hmm. Because Pilot, you know, Pilot did their Seven God series, right? So Mm -hmm. I'm hoping. Oh, I remember. (laughs) Because I still have the set. I hope that (laughs) Sailor does something beginner friendly, you know, like that anyone could get into. But hey, Sailor did too much. Like we we didn't even want to talk about the series. They just released. They really, they really are doing too much. They need to, they need to calm down just a little bit. Little bit. Except um, I love that Coney pen. It's so cute. Oh, we should you should talk about the Coney pen. Oh, did I not talk about it already? I feel like so literally when I was at work the other day, I screamed because I was just kind of, you know, you know, inspecting the it's the new line friend sailor pen. It's like got a white body, a transparent, cute pink cap. And then the, the end finial is like a black and it's mm-hmm. very, very cute. And uh, okay, whatever. So I'm just inspecting it, unscrewing the, the section from the body. And, uh, and I open the pen and it's got the converter in and it's got a little pink end. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what? Oh my God, it's a pink converter. I need it. And, you know, I still haven't bought it, but I just kind of am looking at it fondly <laughs> it's just so adorable it's, it's like such a cute kawaii. pen it gives like i wasn't that impressed with the line series um the cone no, the brown and the, the sally, sally one um 
But the Coney one is cute, like from it's the so good from the pink top finial to the black end finial, like it's just really yeah. really kawaii, like and and Toasty, we were messaging with Toasty, and she's like, the but the top finial, it it's like this evil bunny staring into my soul. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's so cute though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I I just <laughs> never connected with any of the line friends characters, so. It, like the yeah. character theme wasn't a draw, but this colored combo, if you give me a better story, I would, I would buy an FIP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Anyway. Um, oh, but we're both going to talk about this other thing. Yes. Um, so <laughs> this new item I'm super excited to share because it's actually already here. But um, yes. as soon as Ayako from Q Things from Japan dropped her latest collaboration with Furukawa Shiko, I was, I was literally Kelly. The, that hour she dropped it I was sitting in Elliot's car we were driving back from like Canyon River which is like oh, yeah. east, eastern Washington in the dark and you're not, like adding to cart 8 p.m. Car. Elliot's just quietly <laughs> we're both quiet we had a long day Elliot's just quietly driving like speeding through the highway like it, it's so dark and like everywhere just our headlights and I'm just like adding to cart adding to cart <laughs> yes he's like what are you doing I'm like not answering and I just I just have the cute things just from important Jeff. stuff like store <laughs> open up in my phone and I was just add 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 and it's so funny because I and I paid obviously immediately and then yeah. Ayako was like hey remember that collaboration I mentioned to you last November I wanted to send you some as a give I'm like too late I already ordered <laughs> the entire series oops <laughs> oops uh so yeah cute things from Japan we introduced a very cool kind of like their brand collaboration um with Furukawa Shiko um it's themed around just these cute little animals that Furukawa Shiko designed giraffes port- like little hedgehog little cats Giraffe. foxes um oh, yeah. bear shiba inu and they're just these cute little animals writing with stationery and like in the sense of like so stationery being like letter sets too like because mm-hmm. that's really where cute things from J- japan began is like she sells letter sets for people who wants to get into pen poly and so mm-hmm. another theme around her her series is that it's called thinking of you like it's that sentiment that these people have when they buy stuff from cute things from japan and wanting to write a good note or a letter to your friend or like someone else who enjoys stationery and it was just it's a very perfect, wholesome it was a perfect collab because Fukashiko is known for making cute memo set letter sets die yeah. cut paper with their amazing washi like paper from the mino area right um yeah and so and so when when i saw this collab i was like oh man i really want this but like i don't know if i i want to or if i can do it yet and for my birthday april gave me a gift card for ctfj so literally like my friends were like you spent it already i'm like dude i know what i want (laughs) (laughs) she knows what she wants i was like like, all right add to cart add to cart (laughs) and like how can you not pick up this little cat holding literally the pilot 743 vertigris and like riding on the piece of cute leather thing yeah that's that's pretty adorable i actually didn't get that though i'll send it i'll send one to you (laughs) But it's super cute. Like this whole series, like the giraffe, the cat, the hedgehog. I think her intention. I don't know. I'm I'm interpreting here, but it's just a wide variety of creatures, kind of representing mm-hmm. like the different types of people that use the stationery. Yeah. And I really adore that. And in the, you know, when she sends her happy mail, usually in the I order know, she includes I like a little it. booklet, right? And so that's yeah. kind of like her newsletter to the fans and then this one was a special oh. design by Furukawa Shiko and it's just on a big table and all these animals are just riding together with green pens it's <gasps> just it's just what we do when we're together I know like <laughs> a little cup of coffee in the corner with a bottle of ink <sighs> it's a lot so okay uh, April and I were going to share what our favorite thing from the collection is let's hold it up and at we're the same gonna- time Oh, okay. For, okay. for people watching on YouTube, I'm sorry, listeners, we'll tell you. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, 
<laughs> we're a little different. Wait, That's nice. <laughs> they are different. Oh, you. I thought about getting that and I didn't get it. Okay, I'll um, share some with you. But Kelly is holding the stamp set. Wow. So it's it comes with four stamps, and I like how big they are. So I can show. Um, I did one of them on this other thing that I decided to buy this like strawberry notepad oh, that's thing. That's cute. Um, so there's one of the kitties with the fountain pen. The kitty holding the fountain pen is perfect for you. It's like it's it's my life. And I love and wait, the kitty with the ink bottle. The kitty with the ink bottle is cute too. <laughs> and the kitty writing letters with the bunny. And then finally oh. that fox. We're like a here's the letter. It's like dozo. Dozo, exactly. <laughs> and don't you just love that the cat was slightly like the the pen almost seemed a little too heavy for the cat. So it, oh yeah, the cat was it's like great. slightly trying, you know, kind of like holding it up barely. <laughs> like <laughs> and the box it comes in is very cute too. Yeah, like, it's I, like the I special. Really appreciate. Furukawa paper boxes it's like yeah really useful and everything's really well made and like I got a couple sticker sheets because one of one of the sticker sheets was literally called I think it was letter love and I was oh. like it's Kelly love letters, Kelly love letters. <laughs> I have to have it <laughs> oh I see yeah the letter love oh, yeah so it's so cute I had to I, I, I love, love sticker sheets. the stationary love, of course. I know. Because there's the sticker where it's that entire row of animals journaling <laughs> together. And I was like, that's us at meetups. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. All so the wait, different... what, you got the... Okay, is that I an got... an origami set or is it just... A, it's the memo... It's the memo... Well, it's square. Memo square set, the die cut letter set. Oh, no, actually, no. The memo square, yeah. the memo paper set. I and almost got that because it's so cute. It's called Happy Mail Cafe. And of course, <laughs> I'm like the happy yeah. mail person. And I, the reason I love this because it comes with one, let's see, 10, 12 designs of like That's cute a lot. pages with like Maybe that, I got that really one. cute paper <laughs> with all the, all the animals theme like content on it with like the little page with all the like the envelope oh yeah it's so cute yeah and then the hedgehog the the little cats writing together it's, it's very small i do I'm love sorry, cats did you guys know that <laughs> so it's super adorable and there's like 10 pieces per page so i can absolutely you know bring this to like a next pen show and use it to write little notes for friends and stuff like that i just shoot, shoot me some happy mail shoot, shoot you some happy mail and i also <laughs> you know love the the postcard that oh i do too she introduced yes. as part of series did you read her newsletter <laughs> did you read her i newsletter? didn't read it yeah you gotta read I, it it's so funny she says she went really to visit Shiko headquarter she she okay. went in thinking she'll just do the daika letter set and then maybe a stamp and then they start telling her about all the items that they could do and then she got so excited she's like i'm gonna do this too i'm gonna do this too and she walked Aww. out with like 10 items 10 well, 10 new course. product types now like she said she said someone should have gone with me to stop me from making this decision <laughs> but, I'm like, but it was such a good decision though it was so great and everything was printed with like that what do they call like the riso style printing oh, where yeah. like you know the colors are uh printed one color by one color it's not all yeah. at the same time so there could be some like kind of discrepancies like or that. overlaps yeah. So I just thought it was like another great touch and the whole cutesy colorfulness animal thing is just so her and like the the community she has of the fans who loves her stuff. It really is cute things from Japan. I'm like Yeah, it's great. <sighs> so good. Oh one of the paper, the memo paper, let me just kind of describe it again. One of these is like a little mm -hmm. speech bubble and the fox was giving the letter to the cat, like well, and that reminded me a lot of um, one that I have. This one, which is also Furukawa Shiko. Yeah, the bear it, giving the <laughs> leather to the bunny. <laughs> I so love this. It's a sticky note. I love it so much. It's oh. so adorable. I just can't with these 
with these cute things from Japan. It's just so cute. <laughs> and Furukawashiko just did oh. a great job. And you, you know, each time Furukawashiko drops something, I'm like, I need to get them off. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh, good. We're down to five minutes.、Um, oh my gosh. Sweet. I think we're at a great <laughs> pace. And I guess now's the section to kind of share what's exciting that we are looking forward to. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I talked about this already. I might have, but、uh, on June 2nd,、mm-hmm. um, Oblation is going to be having a bullet journal workshop type seminar type thing. It's like an hour in the afternoon with Rachel from Sailor、mm-hmm. um, because the following day on that Saturday, the 3rd, June 3rd, we are having a sailor trunk show. Boom, boom, boom. So, nice.、Um, oh my gosh, Mike's sneezing. I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, it's going to be great. Rachel's going to be in town. We're going to have sailors. She's going to teach people how to do bullet journal y things.、So um, and yeah,、um, Last year, when we did it, it was like a really successful day for everybody and it was super fun. So, I'm looking forward to working those. That's nice. That's something to、yeah. look forward to.、Um, yeah. And then, like, in the、yeah, blink of an eye,、thing? it's going to be Pacific Northwest Pen Show, which Kelly is hosting.、Um, oh, no. <laughs> no, it's a、I'm、joke. I'm not it's hosting. A, it's a joke because, like, apparently, Oblation is a big sponsor and so Kelly's going to try to. Um, well, do her magic there. I'll the try.、Show. I'll do my best. And、yeah. I can't. Should, it'll be fun. I can't wait to, to check it out if I can make it down there. I hope I can.、Um, I don't know. A lot of people up in Seattle are, are excited to go to the show. So, yeah. That'll, that'll be fun.、Um, myself, I'm going to California again. So, and are you, is this is kind of a work trip? It's a work、mark? slash. Vacation.、Um, it's going to start with work、cool. and end with a vacation. So,、um, That's the best way to do it.、Mm-hmm. So, starting with、uh, a plotter pop up at Flax Pen to Paper. So oh, right. Visiting、yeah. uh, the fine people at Flax、um, and then meeting up、yeah. a few friends who are living down there as well in LA. And then after that, we're going to, I'm going to go down to Long Beach、uh, to visit my、mm. team,、uh, who's based in. That part of California. And did you get our newsletter this morning from TRC?、Um, I did. We are moving warehouse. So it's like super hectic、yeah. down there. So I'm going down.、Uh, originally, it wasn't in the plan. I was just going down to meet them, but it looks like I'm going down to help them <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> clean the warehouse. They always、Woof. could use another pair of hands. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And then after that is my vacation starting on Wednesday. And guess what I'm doing? Kelly, I'm going to Disneyland for the first time. Oh my God. What? For the first time? Yeah, the,、really? U- the US Disneyland. I've been to、nice. Japanese. No popcorn there. <laughs> no? No popcorn? <laughs> well,、oh. I mean, I don't think it's, they probably have it, but it's not like special. <laughs> so, I mean, I was, I'm going to be down in Long Beach, and I was like, huh, it's just like a little Uber ride away from Anaheim, right? Which is where Disneyland is. And I've never, be fun. I've never been to a US amusement park、yeah. before. And, well,、um, and that's like the one. I know. <laughs> if you and, want to do Disney. And、yeah. Elliot would, like, Elliot hates Disneyland. Like, he <laughs> thinks it's too juvenile. So he doesn't, like, he wants to go to Six Flags. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want to、oh, go to. What, Six Flags isn't juvenile? Like, I'm not there for the rides. <laughs> I'm there for the scenes, like, the, the decoration,、and、the setup. The food, too. The food. You know, you're you know? going to be getting one of those chicken legs or whatever, turkey leg. Turkey what do they、leg. do there? Well, I did that. So, clearly, I don't go there. I went to Disney Sea when I was in Japan with Elliot a、oh. while back, and I got the turkey leg.、Yeah. But I wanted the English experience of Disneyland. So, yeah. I'm going to be going by myself. Which apparently is a that's kind of cool, <laughs> could be a very fun thing to do because you can skip the line if they have like the single,、oh, yeah. the lightning lane, and then、oh, nice. I'm just i'm just ready. I'm gonna go with my little backpack, my traverse notebook, <laughs> and then like kind of document Disney's solo trip. So, are I, you gonna get Disney ears or th- Mickey ears? Whatever, I was thinking of making, I was thinking of making Mickey ears for my traveler's notebook. You know how, like, Cute. You can, I'm gonna. Oh, like little ones. I'm gonna make, like, a, you know, like with the pencil board, but I'm gonna 
give it like an ear. Oh, and so that's you can, adorable. And you can slot it into your tra- <gasps> Traverse notebook. And then when you're holding it, it has to Disney ear. Oh, that's ear. so cute. So you got to do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Because I don't oh. think I'll be wearing it. I'm too embarrassed. Like, I'm too ashamed to wear Disney <laughs> ears. But I will let my Traverse notebook wear the sure. Disney ear. <laughs> well, that's like the cutest thing ever. They should really col- ooh. They should do a collab. That would be really cute. Uh, probably very Money expensive. Maker. <laughs> yeah, fair. Disney People license. would pay it though. Disney license. Um, but anyway, uh, that's something I'm really looking forward to. And then nice. I'm gonna go further down to San Diego to meet up with some friends before coming back up, uh, and get ready for Seattle summer, which is the best time of the year. <laughs> well, if you're wrong, I'm kidding. <laughs> No, I'm no, right. I'm just happy that it's not a million degrees anymore right now. It's not. It's good. Hey, but that also means though, um, we're gonna we're gonna have a little break before I come back to be able to do the next episode. We're gonna have to skip a week. Oh, because um, I'll be so gone. So we'll skip two weeks then. Yeah. So. Oh. We're gonna have a. Extra oh, that's week. why you're like we have to record. <laughs> I mean, we don't record today. <laughs> we have to record. <laughs> We have to record as soon as possible because um, I'll be yeah. leaving next Thursday. So okay, um, I guess we're so can... busy. Yeah. So by the time I come back, um, hopefully there'll be a lot of fun things to talk about. Yeah, for sure. And so that's it, guys, for this episode. It was really nice catching up with you, Kelly. And yeah, uh, as always, as always, this is April Penguins Creative. <laughs> And Kelly from Kelly Love Letters. I'll see you in three weeks. (laughs) Okay. Bye, Bye, April.